As we mentioned before, some strong storms move through the area. The temperature at the green flag time is forecast to be 82 degrees with a precipitation chance of 40%. Now yesterday in the race car for the Xfinity drivers, temperatures got up to 120 degrees and that makes heat a concern today. For more on that, let's go to Jeff Hammond. Well, John, inside a race car, heat's always a problem. But here in Indianapolis, it's even more so because of the fact this racetrack, as smooth as it is, and as few bank banking as we've got, when they get through sealing these side skirts down off of the racetrack, all the way around this two-and-a-half-mile track, it really builds a lot more heat under the hood, underneath the car. It heat soaks the car to the point to where we've seen temperatures at 150 degrees inside the cockpit. Well, today, NASCAR decided they're going to make them run this mandatory right-side NACA duck. One of the hoses going to the torso of the driver, the other going to their foot to try to keep them cooler and try to keep the temperatures down inside. They're not allowed to either restrict this or tape this up in any way, shape, or form, and they will get a penalty. And you think about guys like Paul Menar, he had an opportunity to run the Xfinity race along with seven other competitors yesterday and Saturday. Hot day there. Today, Larry, they're ho glad they got a little extra cool air. Jeff, thank you very much. Me and Wally have some of the latest technology here, but Larry, why do guys need stuff like this? Yeah, I just want to add to something Jeff talked about. He talked about the side skirts on the car being sealed to the racetrack. The same thing happens with this front splitter right here. They seal it off to the racetrack. There is absolutely no airflow whatsoever, so there's nowhere for that hot air to escape except migrate up through the race car. Now, a lot of drivers use different systems, but what we have here is the Remy cool vest supplied to us from fresh air system technology and Jimmy Johnson uses this exact vest you take this little reservoir you put a slight solution in it fill it with water and then this is the pump in the cooling unit and it pumps that water and that fluid through these little bitty tubes right here that keeps the driver's upper body cool as a crew chief I was always concerned two things about this type of a unit What's the electrical draw? How much does it weigh? The good thing about the Remy Cool Vest is it only takes less than five amps. That's absolutely nothing whatsoever. And the entire system, full of fluid and full of water, less than 10 pounds. So as a crew yep. chief, I'm okay with that. <laughs> They've come a long way. I mean, mm -hmm. the ones that we used to wear, um, the tubes were probably five, eight times bigger than these tubes. Um, also, they're over 30 pounds. I mean, we literally had Coleman coolers yeah. inside of our car, and we'd have to yeah. add ice during the pit stops. But, you know, you, you go to a place like Indianapolis, listen, if, if you get hot in that race car, your brain shuts off. You, st you know, you start making mistakes, and they can get really bad. So um, even with those, uh, the air hose is coming off the side of that car, you're still blowing hot air onto the driver. These guys are going to be feeling today. If it warms up and it gets humid, this is a yeah. tough uh, weekend for the drivers. Yeah, and this is some really cutting-edge technology we have right here. I imagine it's not very cheap, but it really does get the it's job worth done. Every penny.